Hello Learner Even when HR planning indicates a need for additional employees, a firm may decide against increasing the size of its workforce. Recruitment and selection costs are significant when all the related expenses are considered. Therefore, a firm should consider alternatives carefully before engaging in recruitment. Let us take a look at some alternatives to recruitment. The first alternative is promotion policies. An organization's promotion policy can have a significant impact on recruitment. Promotion from within or PFW is a policy of filling vacancies above entry level positions with current employees. When an organization emphasizes PFW, its workers have an incentive to strive for advancement. When employees see co-workers promoted, they become more aware of their own opportunities. An example of this is General Motors and Cisco, which fill approximately 60 to 80% of their senior management positions internally. Motivation provided by promotion from within often improves employee morale. PFW also communicates to the workers that the firm wants them to succeed. In addition, an internal hire understands the firm's culture well. Another advantage of internal recruitment is that the organization is usually well aware of its employees' capabilities. The employee has a track record as opposed to being an unknown entity. Also, the company's investment in the individual may yield a higher return. It is unlikely, however, that a firm can or would even desire to adhere rigidly to a practice of PFW. A strictly applied PFW policy eventually leads to inbreeding, a lack of cross-fertilization and a lack of creativity. Although seldom achieved, a good goal would be to fill 80% of openings above entry-level positions from within. In any event, a promotion policy that first considers insiders is great for employee morale and motivation, which is beneficial to the organization in turn. Let us look at the next commonly used alternative to recruitment, especially in meeting short-term fluctuations in work volume, that is, overtime. Overtime may help both employer and employee. The employer benefits by avoiding recruitment, selection and training costs. The employees gain from increased income during the overtime period. However, there are potential problems with overtime. Some managers believe that when employees work for unusually long periods, the company pays more and receives less in return. Employees may become fatigued and lack the energy to perform at a normal rate and consciously or not, employees may pace themselves to ensure overtime. The third alternative is onshoring. Onshoring involves moving jobs not to another country, but to lower cost cities. Some companies might like to offshore their jobs, but the government may require onshore handling of certain financial, health and defence data. So in this lecture, we have learned about the commonly used alternatives to recruitment. Thank you.